Hello everybody, today I'm taking a look at this 2018 Dodge Journey SE. Um, the reason I'm doing a video on this vehicle is uh, this is marketed as um, a very cheap vehicle to get into that has a third row. So, I think the base price on this vehicle is somewhere around uh, $22,000. Um, it does have some additional packages bringing the, base, the total price somewhere around 26 um, But I'll get into that a little later when we do um, <coughs> the window sticker, uh, we look at the window sticker. Um, again, pretty basic. Uh, it does have um, rear view camera. Um, it does have the passive entry um, on the FCA vehicles. So as long as you have the key in your pocket, you can unlock and lock the door by pushing the button on the driver's side or the passenger side. Um, pretty standard, nothing really to, to go around and look at. Uh, let's take a closer look at the... Okay, so here's the interior on this vehicle. Um, again, pretty standard. You have your basic FCA lock, window controls, and mirror controls right here. Over here we have your um, control for the exterior lighting. And then in here we have the control for the gauge cluster back light lighting as well as the um, dome map light lighting if it's scrolled all the way forward. Coming to the instrument cluster, I don't know how well you'll be able to see because of the sun. We have your tachometer on the left as well as your engine temperature. We have your speedometer on the right as well as your fuel level indicator. In the middle I believe we have a 3 inch LCD display screen. Working our way back we have a pretty generic leather wrapped steering wheel. This control pad over here controls the uh, center um, LCD screen. I don't know how well that's coming through. That's how you control it. Above that we have the button for the hands-free calling. Over on the right side we have all of the buttons for the cruise control. Now, like on all FCA vehicles, on the back of the left side of the steering wheel we have your seek or tune scan rocker and then on the back of the right side we have your volume control this vehicle does come with push button start i believe we have a th five inch five inch diagonal touchscreen display with um, physical buttons as backup um, haven't really had much experience with, uh, with this go to back to the radio, we have your Bluetooth device, auxiliary disc, USB, we got settings over here, more functionality over here, and then your screen off. So if it's too bright at night, you can turn the screen off and you'll be alright. Down below that, we have a little storage cubby right here. We have all the physical buttons for your heating and cooling as well. Your hazard light button is right there traction control on off is right here and then we have your dual zone climate control which is pretty nice in a pretty base vehicle like this um, volume rocker for the radio tune knob for the radio then below that we have your CD or compact disc reader under that we have a pretty deep storage compartment down here with a USB and a auxiliary line in port right there and then up top we have a 12 volt outlet two cup holders you do have a little bit of storage on both sides in the form of pouches right here and right here right here we have your gear select looking our way back we have your center console which does have a removable tray giving you access to a 12 volt outlet Here's a closer look at the passenger seat. Pretty standard. Um, looks like you have a halogen lit glove box. Halogen lit vanity for the passenger and driver. Up top you have a glasses holder as well as a rear view mirror to keep an eye on the little, little ones you may have in the car. And then beyond that we have your um, map dome lights. Again, pretty basic interior. Um, let's take a look and see how much room we have in the back. So, a couple cool features about the Journey. 
Um, you do have a uh, bench seat in the middle. You pull these levers, this will fold, this will slide back and forth, and this will control um, the seat folding down to get access to the rear row of seats. But for now, we're gonna stay in the front row. You do have some pretty deep storage underneath both driver and passenger side of this vehicle. Um, it is pretty cool. It's something similar to the old town and countries, however, um, a lot smaller. It looks like you can take these out as well, so if you put ice or something in there, you can do that. This vehicle is pretty low to the ground, so getting in is easy. Um, with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid five inches of legroom before my knees hit. Um, I am 5'11", if that helps anybody. You do have in the seat storage behind the driver's seat in the form of a pouch. You have no storage behind the passenger seat. You do get a 12 volt DC outlet right here. You have grab handles with integrated hanger hook on both driver and passenger side. Looking up top, you have rear heating and cooling vents, dome light, and then rear climate control for the rear passengers. This center seat does fold down into an armrest, pulling that little latch. You get access to two cup holders, and then this is what locks into that. Pretty standard, straightforward. Um, let's take a look at the back and see how much uh, space we have back there. So, getting in the back seat is somewhat difficult for a grown adult, but uh, for a kid, wouldn't be too bad. Um, pull this lever and, it pu and push it forward, giving you access to the back. Seats fold up very easily, however. And I'm up and in. Now with the seat folded back almost all the way, even though it's not reclining, I'd say I have maybe an inch of legroom back here. I think this is just one more seat right here. Not a lot of legroom back here. Probably perfect for little kids. Cup holder, cup holder. Um, climate control vent, and that's about it. Let's see how much uh, room we have in the uh, in the back. Now. So because this is the base model, um, you don't have the feature to open the trunk um, from the uh, key fob. You have to come up underneath, and there is a latch right over here underneath the E and Dodge. Pull it, and it goes up. Um, with these seats down. You maybe have 10 inches of storage on the bottom. Um, because these seats are angled back, you have probably less, I'd say about five to six. Uh, however, folding the seats down, pull this latch, push forward, pull this latch, and push forward, giving you a lot more space. Now with the seats folded down, I'd say you have a solid three to three and a half feet of uh, storage on ground level, and then up top, Maybe about three. You do have a 12 volt outlet right here. And then a little hook for groceries here and here. And over here. Underneath this, you do have some more storage that's out of sight, which is very nice. And then if you want to fold the seats back up, pull this little lever or uh, grab handle, pull it up and you're good to go. Uh, this vehicle does not have the assisted lift gate, so you'll have to close it yourself. Let's take a look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Um, again, it's a 2018 Journey SE with a base price of $22,995. It has a 2.4 liter inline four dual overhead cam uh, engine and a four speed automatic transmission. All of your standard equipment is gonna be right here and it transfers over into this portion right here. And your optional equipment is gonna be right here, bringing the total price to $26,030. Your fuel economy ratings are gonna be up here. This vehicle is rated at 19 miles per gallon city, 25 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. Now, you should not be paying MSRP or total price on almost any vehicle you buy. Um, with current rebates and incentives, you can get this number 
probably lower than this. Um, I talked to the salesman and he said that they, they market these um, anywhere from 19 to about 22. So um, depending on what you qualify for, you'll probably be paying even less than 22,995. Again, um, they really, really want to get people into this vehicle for about 20 grand. Um, and being a three row vehicle, that's a pretty good price, even though um, this is a, a, a base vehicle. You do get a touchscreen radio, um, you do get push button start, you do get some pretty cool features um, with the base package. I'd like to thank Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. If you're interested in getting into a Dodge journey, I will be putting all the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.